NFC West divisional matchup in these playoffs. We got the Rams versus the Seahawks. Rams, you know, defense run the run run the ball. So we think that this is I think this is going to be a good matchup. Whether Wolford plays, whether Golf plays, I think the Rams are still going to have a really good chance. And then Seattle, their offense, like what's going on the last three weeks? Russell Wilson doesn't seem to be willing to take chances. He's not seeing things as good as he was seeing it before. But their defense is playing better. Granted, yeah. they played worse offenses, but their defense is playing really well. There's a lot to break down with this. Who do you think is going to win? What do you think is going to happen? So I'm all aboard the Seahawks um, this game for the simple reason that I just don't trust uh, the quarterback situation on the Rams. So we know that Goff had, I believe, is a dislocated finger, right? Or was it broken? broken thumb? Broken thumb. Something like that. And there's rumors he might come back. McVeigh has not revealed who's going to play, even if even if he does play, and he's a lot better than that. Uh, Wolford guy. Um, I think we all saw some of the throws. His first throw, actually, against the Cardinals, he literally threw it right to the middle linebacker, Hicks. Pretty bad throw. He did better, you know, didn't lose them the game, I guess, as much as the he backup, can run. backup for the Cardinals did. Um, but, yeah, my main thing with is I just don't trust Goff to be like that Iron Man where – He's going to just gut it out and, you know, give all his heart and soul. Like when you think of like Favre or Rodgers or Brady, you know, the, when they play with injuries, they just don't really look like they lose too much of a beat. Right. I just don't think golf is that type of a quarterback that can do that. Secondly, when they last played, um, I believe it was in Seattle and the Seahawks just dominated them physically, um, like offensively and defensively. Their defense looked like a top 10 unit. It's they been whooped a lot, a lot better. Um, that Dunlap acquisition, Blitz Boys putting in some work on the pass rush, and they're really gelling together more. And um, speaking of, so we do have a betting video where we talk about this game a little bit, but having an elite quarterback and coach, uh, Wilson and Carroll, uh, I just trust that in the playoffs a lot more than an elite coach in McVay and – Jared Goff, who say what you want about him, but he's proven to be like a pretty average, average. 16 to 20 quarterback, right? Yeah, he is. And so I, I actually think Wolford's legs is something. He's pretty fast, actually. That was the first thing that I took away watching the Rams Cardinals game, but it's not much because he, it's not like he's just coming out and slinging it. So mm -hmm. I'm also going to pick Seattle, but I'm not totally convinced. I think as long as Seattle takes care of the football, they got a chance because the Rams defense, oh, my God. it's yeah. Brandon Staley is fantastic. Jalen Ramsey is going to once again put a lock and key on DK Metcalf. Um, and I just think that the Rams defense up front will stop the run game. I think it's going to be a grinded out, very physical ball game. The reason I'm going to pick Seattle is because I think Seattle totally shuts down this run game. One thing Seattle's always had, even when their defense was bad, is they've always been a good run defense. And it starts because they have a lot of big guys up front, like Jerron Reed, Puna Ford, and now you add Carlos Dunlap. Those are some big people that get up the field in the run game. They're really physical. They play a really sound eight-man front. And they have two linebackers who are fast, physical, smart, and they hit in Bobby Wagner and K.J. Wright. And what K.J. Wright does in coverage for this team and how good K.J. Wright has been the last 10 years has been totally underrated. He's not Bobby Wagner. Not many people are Bobby Wagner, but he's a very good player next to Bobby Wagner, and they've had a phenomenal one-two punch that way. And then they're getting a very creative on third downs, blitzing Jamal Adams and stuff like that, and playing a lot, a couple more coverages than rather than just playing the usual Seattle scheme cover three. I mean, they still do that, but yeah. And you know, I think the credit to Jamal Adams is a little overstated. I think the amount he blitzes, I think there are other safeties in the NFL that could approximate mm -hmm. his production. Maybe they don't get nine and a half, 10 sacks like Jamal Adams, but they might get seven and maybe they add a bit more in coverage. Cause sometimes yeah. Jamal Adams gets lost in zone coverage. Like, but I'm not to go on a tangent, but ultimately I think Seattle will win this game. You know, Russell Wilson, for all his lulls, the fact that he hasn't been playing well, he always just finds a way to make it happen. I sure need it right. to happen. Right. He, so I think he'll pull something out. He'll, he's the master of magic plays when you need them. And I think he'll once again do that. And I'm not 100% just convinced on McVay's ability to win this game with this run game because I don't think they're going to get a lot from their past game. 
I think Seattle is going to load the box. And I don't know if McVay is going to have enough creativity there or enough personnel or enough with their line to just say, we're still going to run the ball and find a way to get 140 rushes, rushing yards from 30, 35 rushes. Because if they do that, I think they have a chance. If they can get the 30, 35 runs, I think they have a chance, but I doubt it. Yeah. And with that too, like their, their offense is predicated on, they are able to run the ball. And if they're not able to run the ball, their offense kind of goes down the gutter. Um, like when they are creative and they run the ball, then they get into these play action and create mismatch. Legs. Yeah, that's their offense. But if they're not able to run the ball efficiently and they have to like go to being a drop back passing and they can't get the play action in, I just – yeah, I don't really trust Goff. I don't trust Wolford. Um, as good as I think McVay is, and I think he's proven it, um, they're kind of hindered just by that inability to run. And when it's not there, they have nowhere to go. Um, but it is a, it is a, you know, it's a divisional matchup, and these are always really close in the playoffs. When you're playing a team three times, you see them twice a year. Um, the games are usually pretty close. I think this one, I, I do think it'll be pretty close. I, I'm going with Seattle though. Um, I just trust Wilson. I've seen him against my team too many times. I've seen him in the playoffs too many times. Just create something out of nothing, and it's mm-hmm. frustrating to watch, but it'll probably happen again. Yeah, I'm I'm picking Seattle for the same reason. It's going to be a grinded out, tough ball game. I think both teams are going to be under 20 points. I think it's going to be like 17, 13, or maybe 19, 14, 20, 14. It's going to be physical. It's going to be grinding it out. It's going to be a very good game, I think, to watch. But ultimately, I think that Seattle will prevail. Yep, I'm with you on that.